In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first part using SolidWorks. So once I double click and open the software, it's going to bring me to this screen. And from here, you're going to go to the top left corner and click on this uh, page icon. And it's going to come up with three options. Uh, the first is a part, the second is an assembly, and the third is a drawing. Since all assemblies are made of parts, and all drawings are made of either assemblies or parts, you need to make a part first before you can really make anything else. So I'm going to just hit OK. And now it's going to bring me into the part. So as you could see, there's nothing in this area. That's because there, the part doesn't consist of anything yet. But you're going to see that on the left hand side here, you have three different planes. And what those are, are surfaces where you're going to create your part. Uh, let me explain that a little bit more. This is called the uh, top plane. And you can imagine it as a sort of um, floor or ground where you can design your part with with its base on the surface. There's also the front plane. I'm going to control click. And this plane uh, adds a second dimension for being able to build your part. And the right plane is the third dimension. And um, as you can see with these three uh, planes, you're able to build using this sort of three-dimensional space and the planes are going to allow us to um, create sketches to create our 3D parts. I also uh, would like to call your attention to this, the origin, and the origin is your zero. It's uh, where all the parts begin. So that being said, uh, let's get started with uh, designing our first part. Um, what I'm going to create is a, uh, a cube. So I'm going to uh, use a top plane to create a sketch. And what I want to do first is uh, select my top plane, coming over here and just clicking top plane. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to look right at this plane that you're going to be building on. So you need to come over here to the bottom left corner and you need to click on this datum. This is called the datum and it just kind of, um, if, you, if you click on one of these arrows, here I'll click on it, it just rotates your um, part in a different orientation. And I want my part to be looking at the top plane which I'm looking at. I clicked on the green arrow. If you click it again, it looks on the, on the back side of the top plane. And if you click it, see it says here top. So I'm going to create a sketch here. And uh, you'll see what a sketch does in, in just a minute. Um, I'm going to go to the top left and click on sketch. And now we're in a sketch. What that means is I now have these um, 2D options, these 2D shapes that I can use um, to create my 2D sketch on this top plane. I'm going to select um, from here this square corner rectangle icon. I'm going to click on this arrow and I'm going to click on center rectangle. Now I'm going to come over, click on here. That's the origin automatically. This, this uh, red datum is the origin. I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to, I'm not holding down the mouse right now. I'm just going to drag it out and just click. Now I've created this 2D shape. So I'm going to hit OK. And um, this, this 2D uh, rectangle, it doesn't have any dimensions. I can come over and press down and drag on this point and move it around. And I can size it however I'd like, but since we're engineers and designers, we'd like to dimension our sketches and our parts. So to do that, you come up here right when you went to exit, right when you 
clicked on sketch to make this sketch to the right of it is this uh, smart dimension icon so you're gonna click on that and you're gonna be able to click on a line and dimension it um, I want this line to be one inch so I click on one and I'm gonna hit OK now this line is one inch and as you could see of course this line is one inch too because this this square is a, a center rectangle and uh, center rectangles uh, you'll see that that these two lines uh, demonstrate um, an equal constraint between these two lines but uh, we'll get into that later so I'm gonna do the same thing to this line I'm gonna click on it drag it out and I also want this line to be one inch so I'm gonna click one and hit OK now we have a one inch by one inch 2d square I'm gonna hit OK alright so now we have our our 2d square and if I click down on the middle mouse button I can rotate this 2d sketch and look at the different sides of it and then I'm gonna go back and click on the datum on the bottom left to look at the top of it again and I'm gonna go now now that I've I've created two dimensions this dimension and this dimension I wanna make a third dimension to make this a cube this is now a 2d shape I want it to be a 3d shape so how do you take a 2d shape and make it 3d well you do it by creating a feature so over here on the top left you're gonna see this features tab click on it now there are a lot of different things that aren't highlighted here we're gonna click on what is highlighted there are only two options there's extruded boss base and there's revolved boss base I want to extrude this shape so I'm gonna click on extrude boss base and now this shape is being extruded I'm gonna come over here to my dimension option in this boss extrude wizard and I'm gonna click one and then I'm gonna I'm going to just click anywhere and you, you're gonna see that your model updates with this preview of your shape that hasn't been um, okayed yet so I I like the way this looks this is this is what I had in mind so I'm gonna hit the green check mark okay all right it created my shape look at that that's what we wanted we wanted to take a 2d shape and make it 3d so now I have my my cube and that's great but um, these sharp corners you know I'm not digging it um, so I want to take away the sharp corners here and I, I want to add some uh, flare and some um, extra features to this very uh, basic uh, cube so I'm going to um, be doing a 3d uh, feature here so I'm gonna stay in the features tab I'm going to go to my uh, option here which is now selectable it's called fill it and I'm gonna click on it then I'm going to select one of these edges and I'm gonna click on it and now it's selected so over here in the fill of parameters you'll see that I could set a dimension for the size I want it to be I'm gonna make it one one inch and I'm gonna to go to full preview here that's gonna allow me to see what my feature is going to look like before I make it and before the computer needs to process uh, the actual uh, 3d graphic of it so um, this is a little bit too large I'm gonna scale it down to be 0.5 so half an inch and I'm gonna hit OK and so now that feature has been created 
um, you know, this other corner is a little bit too sharp. I think I want to do something to uh, alleviate that. So I'm going to go up to the fillet here, except in, instead of clicking on fillet, let me exit out of this. Instead of clicking on it, I'm going to go down to this arrow and I'm going to select chamfer. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to select this edge. And you can now see that, I, again, I have a preview. And um, this is going to allow me to create a chamfer, a basic chamfer. And uh, for now, um, this is 0.1 inches. I can change this value to be more. I can make it 0.2. And the, this preview is going to change accordingly. I can also change the angle here. See, it's 45 degrees by default. I can come in here and make this 60 degrees if I want and click to update. Now, um, this chamfer is 60 degrees. Um, if you want to look at this face, you can come back here to the datum, click on it. It'll bring you back. Um, just for fun, let's make this 70 degrees. Now you can see that it's updated. See, it's not giving me the preview, full preview. I'm going to hit OK. Oh, see, it can't build this chamfer. The reason it can't build the chamfer is because if I did build the chamfer, it would be cutting into this fillet. See, the chamfer is too large, so I need to scale it back. I need to make this a uh, smaller number, say 0.1. And uh, now I have my preview back, which means that this would calculate if I hit OK. Um, it's successful in building my chamfer. So now, you know, we have our shape here. But let's say that I don't want to just make surface features on this cube anymore. I want to get a little bit more advanced and I want to create a dimensioned feature in this part. So I'm going to say select one of these faces. I'm going to select this face by clicking on it. Now what I want to do is I want to make a 2D sketch on this face because if I make a 2D sketch on this face then I can use these features on this face and that, and it will be based off of my 2D sketch. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to go back to my sketch tab here. See the features and sketch tab are right next to each other and I'm going to click on sketch and what I'm going to do is same thing center rectangle. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come over here again and select the origin on this datum and click on it and I'm going to drag it out like I did in the first step and I'm just going to click again to place it hit OK smart dimension click on that and that's going to allow me to dimension I want this to be half an inch OK and up here half an inch I'm hitting enter, but you could also click on this green check mark. And so now I have a half inch by a half inch square. And that's what I want. And it's placed on the origin like I wanted it to be. So I'm going to click on this green check. And I'm going to go back to my feature now. And in the feature, I have a few different options here. Um, the ones that are selected are, of course, the ones that I can use. Um, so what I want to do is, in this case, remove material. We have a solid block, as you can see. I want to create a feature that's going to extrude in to this block to remove material. So I'm going to click on Extruded Cut, which is the opposite of Extruded Boss Base which we used before. I'm going to click on Extruded Cut. Now we're cutting into this block and the, the feature is showing it.
and the interesting thing about this is um, you're seeing a preview of a cut but you can't tell it's a cut until you hit enter now you can see that this part has been uh, has been extruded into with that feature and um, if I want to change how how long this cut is I can right click over here on the feature I made and there are a lot of different options here but we're going to go right here it's called edit feature top left on the menu I'm going to click on that and I'm going to scale back this dimension right now it's one inch but our cube is one inch tall I want to make it a quarter of an inch so I'm going to type that in 0.25 and I'm going to come up here and hit OK and as you can see that change has been made. So for now, we're going to call it a day. And um, I hope you learned a lot from this video. And hopefully there will be a lot more coming on the way to show you um, ways to do solid modeling in SolidWorks. Thank you.